Hi guys, welcome to Tom and Harry SMMA. This is a topic which we get asked a lot and people often have the wrong expectation of, but how quickly can you get results within your agency yourself? So some people say they sign a client within one week. Some people say they never sign clients. What is the answer? What's the realistic view of it? And what's the average that happens in the industry? So we can all understand it and move on. Yeah. So before we do it, let's get into the video. Harry, yeah. Our story is different. We're not going to go into our stories about us, how quick we succeeded, because we've talked about it a million times. But like, first of all, set the 10 minute timer because we only we only rack on for 10 minutes. But how quickly can you succeed at SMA? If you started an agency tomorrow, right? A digital marketing agency, we, we try and lean away from the SMA term a bit because that's not what we teach like out and out. We teach a, a different model, which is the one that we know out and out works. But like, how quickly can you can we get results? Like, what do we expect from our students, man? Yeah. So, how quickly can you get results in social uh, in SMA? I think it's I think it's so different for every every person, mate. I think when people start a social media marketing agency, they think they're going to start on day one, do a little bit of Instagram outreach, and sign a client on the fucking seventh day that they're doing it. When in fact, it just doesn't work like that. I think a massive proportion of t of starting a social media marketing agency which no one takes into consideration is learning the service like learning like what the fuck i'm actually going to deliver to these people because that's a massive proportion of time which goes into being able to be successful at cold calling or instagram outreach or linkedin outreach or whatever because you physically can't host a sales call without really understanding how that service works and also especially in 2024 being like Mate, we know we know in 2024 we're getting asked more than ever now about testimonials and proof that our work's good don't we yeah like, it's, it's every, almost it's now almost daily but that's because the industry's caused that themselves everyone's racing out giving guarantees and everyone's which we're not, again we're not going to bang on about because we we talk about it so much but racing out and trying to tell people they've done this and done that and they just haven't done it Exactly. So like, that's another part that people... your, this is something that fucking blows my mind. Imagine putting your faith in someone, right? As a business owner, you want more leads. Let's say, let's say you're a, a hair clinic, you want more leads and you give the job to someone who's never done, never worked with another client before. It's like letting someone build an extension on your house but have, have never worked in the building industry before and that all they did was a quick a quick few videos on youtube and then try and do it exactly that makes a prime example of what i mean like if you're if you're wanting to build a house it blows my mind thinking exactly. that but there's so many ways around it which which include which gets incorporated into this video about how quickly you can get results for example if you started a building company and you tried to get a job for an extension and you went to someone's house and said I want to build during extension. They said, right, show me some stuff you've done. And you just go, I haven't got any. But you wouldn't do that. If a new builder was about, they'd be like, right, here's a, like in my apprentice, in my apprenticeship or when I was learning to do it, I built this structure. This is how it works. This is how foundations work. That's what you should do with SMMA. You should be like, right, I've not worked with people before, but look at this landing page I've done. Look at this website I've done. Look at this ad campaign I've built. Look at this email marketing sequence I've done. Look at these go high level sub accounts I've done. All of that shows without having to actually have done it for a client that you can deliver the service you say you can deliver. So that's all included from my view, from when you start an agency to getting your results, a massive proportion of that time is learning how to actually do it. Whereas what yeah. most people do and what for most people fucking teach on TikTok, which is so fucking frustrating, is a 12 year old kid can start an agency today, start messaging people on Instagram tomorrow, sign a client for 1500 quid a month, give it to someone in India to do for 200 quid and a 12 year old's become a millionaire. Fucking doesn't work like that. How the fuck is a 12 year old going to sign a client at 1500 pound a month with zero capabilities of design of doing the fucking job? Doesn't fucking happen. No. Or or even on the fluke that it does happen, they're going to lose that client after fucking two weeks when they realize he's a fucking retard. What? Um... <laughs> yeah. Let's be honest. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, man. I bet people fucking laugh their head off listening to this. <clears throat> um, okay. Yeah. So let's, all right. Let's say, for example, here's the thing. Yeah. Say you, 
say how long do we have left on the timer? Five. 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 Like, let's say you've done a load of, you've joined an academy. I'm not saying buy our academy. We don't care. Buy whatever you want to buy. Yeah. Let's say you invest in yourself and you buy some sort of course. Then you do a load of online training and you, you look at, you, you gorge on YouTube content. You've, you've got things ready. You've got a logo, you've got a brand and you've got yourself in a situation. I think to how quickly people succeed. You're right. They have to have the knowledge, but let's say they've got all the knowledge. Yeah. How people quick, how quick people succeed then is down to your pure two things. How much you, how much activity you do you put in? So how much are you feeding the fire? Basically, the more wood you put on it, the bigger the fire is going to be. Yep. So what I mean by that, people are like, oh, that's a fucking analogy for what? Cooking food. No, it's not. So like when, the more outreach you do, the more people you're putting, you're getting in conversation with about marketing, about driving their business forward, the growth partnership, whatever you want to call it. The more numbers, it's a numbers game. The more people you hit, the quicker you'll fall back on that down. And I think then it's also, it also really comes down to like how, how tr not trustworthy you are, professional. It also comes down to how professional you are. So if you uh, see, you can have all the skills and knowledge and do all the outreach in the world, but if you're not very, if you're a bit of a douchebag, which we know, we know there's a lot of them out there. Yeah. If you're a bit of a fucking prick and you don't, you seem a bit grimy and slime, you're a bit of a slime ball and you don't seem very trustworthy. Like we know, we know, we could fucking list off a whole bunch of people. It, you're never going to sign business. It's always going to be really tough for you, man. Yeah. Because people don't trust you. And so much of this, the reason why people give people a chance to, to run ads for them or even to take hold of their marketing it's because they see faith in them. They see potential in them and they see that they, they trust them. Yeah. So, and I say this to people all the time. It's like when they go, oh, I'm not getting any res results. We go back and we an analyze it, don't we? But then I look at them and go, would I buy a chocolate bar off this person? Probably not, no. Probably not, because it's probably been stuffed down his pants for like <laughs> fucking 25 minutes. So yeah. I don't really trust where it's been. Hey, and that I is such a good point. It's such a good point. Like, we'll get people that will say, Harry, like, we've followed 50 outreach messages a day, no, 50 cold calls a day. We've done 50 emails a day, 50 like LinkedIn pieces of outreach a day. We've done la di da di da. And then we listen to their set, their, their meetings and stuff. And what they're saying isn't bad. What they're, the scripts they're following isn't bad. It's who they fucking are. It's like, if the, you've got to remember, and this is what everyone's goal is, is signing a 1500 pound a month client, two grand a month client. Those types of people that can afford that amount of money are experienced switched on business owners, aren't they? Like very rarely we've had someone that's paid us 12, no, two, two grand a month. And they've been like just a bit all over the place, not very switched on, not like real business owners. Would that person, when they've got the opportunity to work with Tom and I or other people that have a good agency, why would they choose someone who's unprofessional, can't speak pro properly, not charismatic, not enthusiastic, not like bringing ideas to the table and like he's really, hello, yes, I'm a digital marketing agency. It's like, why would you pay that person? You just wouldn't. But no, people don't think like that. Like that's that's your problem. You need to look, you don't need another course on fucking sales. You need another course on being a charismatic individual. That's I'm like with food. I'm like this with food, mate. It, like when I see if I if I ever saw the chef of places where I eat, I would never go back there. Yeah. Because I know they're sweaty, probably fat as fuck. Like I just know that I wouldn't want to eat there again if I saw what they looked like. Yeah. And I think I'm not saying that people are going to judge you on how you look, but they judge you on on how you put yourself out there. And and before we wrap it up, because I know the time is almost done. Harry just said about like if you can talk properly. Now he's not knocking people who who not at all. talk. No, what he means is like you you've got to be quite articulate. You've got to pronounce like your words correctly. Pronunciation is is really important. Like be clear, slow it down. You know, you can't mumble your way through, drop your words and just 
it, it, it makes your job communication in this industry will help you succeed at SMA and digital marketing. If you're a good communicator, and this is you're gonna and, drive it forward so easily. Right, and this is everyone. When we say speak clearly and enunciate properly, we're not just saying it for people that have really strong accents or like from like India or Bangladesh, because that's what a lot of the where a lot of the problems come from in terms of like, those are the people that come to us the most saying, oh, there's a stigma behind my accent and stuff like that, which there's ways to get around. We've had it personally, well, I have had it personally, mate, where I've rang the US or we've been on client calls with the US and they've kind of like not understood the way we speak or we say certain phrases and they're like, oh, like you, you can't say that, you can't say this and stuff like that. And it's like, so it's, it's, and even Carmit, our, our lead salesperson at the agency, he's got a very thick Irish accent. Yeah. It's the time of the video, but he's got a very thick Irish accent. And when he cold calls, he dumbs it down and speaks more clearly. Like, it's just simple things like that to make people understand you. And just, I think the most important thing, mate, is has to have tonality in your voice and, like, show your real person. Like, have a laugh on the call. Like, don't make yeah. it so fucking serious all the time. Completely agree. I think that is when we line up this video of how quickly you can succeed, it does all rely on, on you as a person, your motivation, your ability to communicate, your ability to learn and your drive. Yeah. You, we can teach you every fucking thing you want to know. Yeah. We can teach you every single thing you need to know on this planet. But if you're giving it to the fucking duck next door, it ain't going to work, is it? Exactly. And this is why when I say I had someone on the Academy called uh, last Monday and they said, oh, Harry, I don't want to, I don't want a cold call. I want to um, get a VA in the Philippines to do my cold calling. I said, you're wasting your time, mate, and money. You really are. The main USP, of, obviously, get someone to cold call, but not someone in the Philippines that doesn't understand things and stuff like that. Like, people are buying, the people get them calls all the time. But the only reason why they're going to take a call is because you're serious, you can connect with them as people, and you're a switched on individual. That's the, yeah. you, and then it's just a numbers game. So to... So I feel like we've got a, a little bit off topic, partly because I've taken it off topic, mate. But I think like we just I think the bottom line is if you want to get results quick, you have to, first of all, hit the fucking numbers. If you're not hitting those weekly numbers that we give you, you're never going to get anywhere. But then also the background stuff is you need to make sure that your tonality and stuff's all good and and you you follow the correct process. Do that and you succeed. So many people do succeed and they have lovely businesses that bring in a fucking stunning amount of money. It's low. It might be low for this industry, if I'm honest. Could be just six grand a month, but that means they're making probably five. Fucking hell! Well done, yeah. Jesus Christ. That's three times higher than the average UK salary for not even being that good. So there we go. Yeah. Well, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you liked anything we said and you want to learn more about the academy, click the link in the description. Please subscribe because we're back posting every single day. And yeah, we'll see you tomorrow at 9am tomorrow's video.